Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands and we already did grocery store last night, go to the post office and do some things like that. And um sorry, I'm gonna sit back some. And what I was gonna do is go ahead and tell you I <laughs> Bought several more of the Estee Lauder lipsticks. Um, I went to the Estee Lauder I, counter and they were having a big event, so I couldn't really. It's like if you're not doing the event, then they are just so rushed and they just didn't have time, much time to talk to me. So the first day I went, I picked up, um, they gave me the wrong color. They gave me the LeMay Luminizer, which is the gold. There's I think two or three of them. No, there's four. There's the gray one, the white, the gold, and then the foil, which I'm not sure that's more of a cool tone. Um, I'm not sure what that would be considered. But they're the ones that you put over lipsticks. And this one is the LeMay, and I have not even touched it. Um, so I'm going to take it back today because I, don't, I didn't really want this one. I wanted the foil. But that one is the one that goes over other lipsticks. And I've got a bunch of lipsticks that are kind of... Um, like this gold anyway so I'm gonna take that one back and then let's see this is the spiced toffee now this is one that I thought I was gonna love and a couple of you said you liked it it's a little too brown for me and it's what I've the main thing I wanted to get across in this video is that some of these are kind of gritty and I did not notice that with the um, brilliant bear at all so I've got three here that I really really like um, and then these I wasn't as happy with. This is the, um, let's see, Spiked Toffee. And it is a beautiful color. It's a little too brown for me, but I could have worked with it, but it's very gritty. And um, I might as well swatch it because I've already used it. See, it looks like it would be so smooth on your hand, but when you put it on your lips, it, it doesn't feel good. Um, the other one that I got, and it was gritty. It's the Hot Core Line. And a hot Coraline, Coraline, and this one was really bad, and I had trouble even getting any uh, pigmentation on my lips. But there's that one. I don't know. You can't even see it. It's pretty light. So don't be. I mean, if you do want it, don't be scared. It's going to be too bright. It was a pretty color, but it just didn't look good, and it was hard to even get any pigment, and it was just really gritty. And they don't look like that on my hand. I don't know why. What the difference is? And then the other one I got was. Um, the electric mauve and I have not even touched this one so I'm gonna just take it back because I, th I think I've learned my lesson but um it's a really pretty color it's like a, a purpley pink which I always like so um, make sure I put these in the right boxes and luckily that's one of the reasons I shop at belt because they take returns especially I've got all the receipts and um, probably what I'll do is just exchange a couple of these for the ones that I love, which are the Brilliant Bear. It's my favorite. It is gorgeous. And I'll see if I can swatch it. It is just so pretty. You can't see it. And I tell you what, I'll take a picture of all of these when I get through. And then this is the one I have on today. It's Mauve Struck. And I got this one this weekend and I really like it. And it's just a, it's kind of like Brilliant Bear with the pink in it though really pretty real similar to maybe rose amethyst my favorite color you can't see it really pretty and then um the one that i am going to keep the luminizer is foil i put it over my i put it over that today i put on um a can't remember i think it's one that marlene a lip liner the pupa real lips or something like that and um, I put on the mob struck and then this over it and I'll put that right here so you can see it but that just gives it like a, a luminescent look and it's cool toned so there is that and I'm gonna go right now and take a picture of this with my iPhone and see if I can do any better than what okay, I can so do my favorites right are the foil which is the luminizer and it's just really pretty it looks pretty on its own but it looks it really does look good over other colors if you have just like a a tone that you like but it's just a little bit blah that's good or you could do it over you could fill in your lips with a, your favorite lip liner and then put that over it and then of course the brilliant bear which is just gorgeous and you really do probably need a lip liner with that but someone asked me how does this compare to the 
Clarins Nude, and it's very close, very close. If you like the Clarins Nude, you would like this. This might have just a little bit more color, but it's, you might not need both of them if you have, already have the Clarins Nude. And then this is one of my favorites. It's the Moth Struck. And it's just like the bear, but with the pink tone. So I just wanted to go ahead and tell you that before I, and show you those before I took those back. And then I found this product that I was telling you I did not care for, the Nick Chavez Soft Flocker. And I guess it's the soft that threw me off because I thought it was usually when something claims to make your hair soft, usually it's a cream. And um, it wasn't, it was this, you can see, it was just like that yucky, pasty stuff. So today I decided to try the spray, the regular Flocker spray for wet or dry hair. So I brushed my hair out. I had used the conical iron on it last night before I went to bed. You can see the, the curl really does stay in it probably too well, but it'll last a couple of days. And so I did what it said, which was spray this in your hand, um, rub it in and then kind of scrunch through your hair. And I could not really tell that big of a difference. I don't think it's worth me telling you to go get it, but I do think the Amazon spray is much better than this. I like that line, which someone else said they like the Amazon line better than the Flocker. So, isn't that a weird name? But anyway, um, so I wanted to tell you that too, because I always feel bad when I tell you I get something, you know, I feel like I need to follow up on it and let you know what I think, um, which everybody's different, everybody's hair is different. I'll bet, matter of fact, Kelly, the girl at Ulta that loves this stuff has short, spiky hair. So I bet that's really what this is meant for, a little bit more than my type hair. So I'm going to do a quick out for the day and then let you guys go enjoy today your Monday. Today I have I'll be on right just a white, the, one of the simple white t-shirts from Alexander Wang, which you can never go wrong with these t-shirts. They fit so well. And then these are, you guys probably remember me getting these. I can't even remember what brand they are right now. I think they are Joe's jeans. The um, printed Aztec print or something. I can't remember the name of them, but um, shoes I have really, on really comfortable. With are my Bell by Sigerson Morrison. I believe they're called Sumas, and they're older. I don't think you can find them anymore. But I just love these shoes. And um, I'm actually going out today looking at boots. So I wanted to wear some pants like this to try them on with, because that's typically what I would probably wear them with. And then the bag I'm carrying is still the Rebecca Me Golf Love Spell. For accessories, I just have on these little CZs. Um, I have on one of my Lee Elena bracelets. This is the Lex and Lee. And these two are from my friend Anne Marie. This is the Noosa bracelet, and then this is the one that she made me to go with it, which I love, and I felt like it goes perfect with these pants. So, and then the nail polish I have on, I have a little chip, I think, right there, yeah, is still the Illamasqua Jomina. And several of you had said that it looks just like the Essie Playdate. So I went and looked, and I was going to get it, but the Essie Playdate is almost identical to the NARS Poker Face. It's not as bright and as vibrant as this. It's more like the NARS Poker Face. So if you like that, that would be a dupe for that. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.